you know, speaking of uh, rhythm parts that are fun to play. I know this will uh, disappoint all the purists, but I really think Rick Springfield's version of this is better than Sammy's original. Sorry. I just, <laughs> I just think that. And I think the guitars on this are that Neil, what's his, Neil Gerardo, Gerardi? Uh, Pat Benatar's guitar player, husband? I think, I think he did these guitar parts. But they're great, whoever played it. Um, it's in E. And it starts with this little lick, which is a cool lick. Alright, so let's start with that little thing. It sort of builds in uh, intensity as you go through the, uh, through the intro. But you're at the ninth fret on A, D, and G. So. Right, so start a little bit muted. So A, a string goes uh, 9, 11. 12, 11. That's basically what you're doing. The D and the G both stay at 9 there. So it goes into an E. You could even do it and leave the B and E strings open. That's a B. Alright, so you're in, the, the verse starts, the vocal starts in E5. This is kind of an octave on B. On the E string and the D string. That's a little cool little. Just walks down. Seven, six, five, four. As octaves. Whichever fingers you use to borrow. thing but you want to go but instead of doing that stretch it's easier to do it. just do it as a seven so hit that D string without hitting the G if you can same thing up with B and then you're into I've done which is kind of cool. I, I hear it as, I don't hear, I don't hear that, I hear, which is kind of different, but, but better. So a full, an E with the low B string covered there. And then do exactly the same thing, except move your ring finger up so now you're covering the A string at the ninth fret. The main thing is to get that string in both chords, the G string at the ninth fret. It goes down to an A, but I hear the B and E strings open on that. B. to another verse. Just me and my friends will be just fine. 
and then. sharp, just as a fifth chord. So you're doing it like this. F sharp to A, E. It goes into it. Just doing a little trill on the D string at the second fret. Kind of a Hendrix. So that little part. Nice little dissonant kind of thing. That's a high E at 10, B at 9, and then off. You bend them up a little bit. That's D, G, and B at 14. So that's a little lick. B string bent up at 12 to the high E at 12. Do the same thing at 14. And I think it kind of ends on. I think it ends something like on a bend up the high E at 14. I mean, it, it doesn't really matter. You could just. Do whatever finishing like you want. <laughs> and then you're back into it. For the last verse, it just modulates up to an F sharp. It doesn't do that stuff, it just does a, a F sharp. To a C sharp. Be did before. Now this uh, this one is just do a straight B. Don't do a, you don't do the open strings on this part. Climb is F sharp, low E, at two. So it sounds like A at one. So you walk up one, two, three, four on the A string. That sounds like E to F sharp. Sammy's version's great, don't get me wrong. And I know, I, I guess Sammy, I've, I've 
seen like on stage remarks that he makes on videos and stuff where he kind of laughs at Rick Springfield. But dude, <laughs> he's laughing all the way to the bank over that because I'm sure he's made a zillion more dollars on Rick Springfield's version than he ever did on his own version. Uh, anyway, good luck.